Hello and welcome back in another sheet metal workshop video and in this video in the third part of the square lock form wheels I'm going to show you how to close up a doom end head or a zap also known in Deutschland zeppelin kopf Maybe we'll check if a bullet cop you Okay, now this is, uh, this is what we're going to show You see it's closed Here you can see inside, inside or here how it's closed okay well this is only a tutorial how to do it so I'm not going to uh, finish a whole head it's too much material for this video and I don't want to make a too long video also so I want to save time so let's get straight in it here is a side view of the head so that means it fits See, it fits in. That's like a template for your models you have or your metal. Now, okay, so I have already prepared some segments in front. See, these are all, all already in form almost. And I have just one left. Now before you do this, I prefer you first do three segments and without any allowance and you measure the distance and the difference between it you gave uh, on it. So the original size is uh, 230 and I have here 230. 45 okay this one is with a swage that is with a hole so if you have a one quarter of head you have only half then four seams good first and for closing up the head we're going to use these wheels the flat wheels so what we're going to do now is we're going to set up the machine It's the same thing like I did in the first video and in the second video. So again, the square lock form wheels, I don't know how they, how should I call them different. In Germany, we call them Kastenroller. In Holland, I think Fels, Felsrollen. Geen idee, ik weet dat niet meer. Okay, now, again, the setup is always the same. So a little bit out of the middle to the, to the side where the play this and again for this we're going to have here an allowance of swage allowance or we also call it flesh this part so just to show so actually this small part from here to the middle we also know as flesh, we call it flesh, in, in the sheet metal industry in Holland and in Germany. So I don't know in other countries how they call it, allowance, but here we also call it flesh. Now, from the plate, we go 18 millimeters now this time, 18. And this, what I'm now going to do is actually, you always repeat the same thing on each segment so if you have 24 parts you're going to do this also 24 times now the thing is hold, hold it straight so don't go up or down just hold it straight as possible see And one last time, so we don't want to go too deep, so this is now how it looks like. So you can also use this here as a template 
for holding your form. So if I want, I squeeze here something here, my, my vice grips in here. And then you can also use it as a template if you have troubles with holding it in the form. So you can use this template also to keep it in form. Now, the next one is the upper side. See? And the last one. Now, one, two, back. We're also, also going to do like we did with the end cap to squeeze this edge a little bit down. So we're going to do it another more time, another time more. And the last time. Okay, that is it. So I'm going to check this out. If it is in form, well, looks good. Looks good, okay. Now, the thing is, I cannot squeeze this one, you see, it, it, it's not practical. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just build this one outside. I'm gonna remove the plate. And now, see, I have a lot of space. So I'm going to do it also three times. And the last time. Okay, so that's it. Next step, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to remove those both elements and I'm going to change these wheels in those flat wheels. So I'm going to put this here for now. So change the wheels. And I'm going to center them exactly on each other. Okay, and now I'm going to put off here these elements from the side okay so now everything is removed what has to be now the next thing is when you when you have this machine so these heads are not you cannot always close them on every machine so the thing is you have to check out the, how wide is your segment so my segment is here 235 so I have to check this distance how deep it goes so this one goes until here 245 so I will always leave a little bit more air in between so 240 millimeters is coming here through you see it's coming going through so now the next thing is because I have already prepared some more segments I'm going to put it on down and so you can see it, see it already goes in each other, All right, it's cool. So what I'm doing is here, yeah, we're just going to hold it, squeeze it a little bit.
Okay. So if it doesn't catch it the first time, you just go another time and squeeze it a little bit more. And now you see it's closed. can't remove anymore so if there is a little bit distance therefore is a hammer so if you're not sure you can always go another time through it So that is the first segment I have closed. Now, now you're just continuing with closing up. So put this here on. Oh, okay. Go back. This is a job that really takes time. So this one is also set up okay a little bit more so a little bit deeper and now it's closed you see so now this is how it works actually just continuing open this one two three put this one in it So if it opens like this, that isn't a big deal. Just continue what you're doing. Squeeze it a little bit more, then go back.
same one here, you see it's also closed. And now here, the last one. Okay, squeeze, go back. Squeeze a little bit more and go back. And one last time. And that's it. All right, almost, almost that's it. We have one segment left. I'm gonna just hit. Another time from here. So you have to really be careful. Your metal doesn't stuck anywhere here because it's really annoying when the last segment doesn't complete. Okay, so now here the last segment is for one quarter. This is actually a 24 parts, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is one water you see here I have here with holes and the other one is also with the holes so this is a quarter <coughs> it isn't an easy one to do but it works see closing up Again, my hammer. So. And another time, the last one. And this one is also done. Oh, okay. Almost, yeah. Okay. Well, that's it. So I have here now a quarter part done. <coughs> See? It's stable. And you see here it's all in form. It's really good in form. And now if I have one quarter I can now connect if you have for example all four quarters you can connect in but I'm just gonna have here only a half see
just now closing it up. My needle. So I'm just doing this to show how it works with closing up a doomed, a half one. It's just to explain how it works. The rest is up to yourself. How quick are you going to learn this? Okay, wait a minute. Okay, the last one is making some problems here, the last one. Okay. Okay, well, that's it. We have here in a half doom end, Zeppelin cock. You see? And the good thing by this one, it's always in form, eh? because there are no screws, so there is no straight, uh, I call it, uh, Spannung. Okay, well, that's it, guys. In this video, with the square lock former, how to square lock former Zeppelin cup, Bola cup, or how you do, man, how you want to call it. It's not an easy one takes a little bit of time to practice, but I've shown you how it's going to be done. Well, thank you for watching. See you next time.